When I got out of college, if you were going to go into the business world, you went to work to make money and you checked your values at the door in the morning. And then if you wanted to do good, you did that separately from work. That ethos has totally changed. You want to operate a company and make a great product, earn a fair return, and also give back to the world, make it a better place. Having a third party say this is a good company, and for a consumer, that makes good easy. Every company goes through the same process of measuring its social and environmental impact. They measure what matters. I don't just want to buy uh, a good product. I want to buy that product from a good company. Yeah, so when we started, there were 23 companies in 2007 that said, I'm in. The community is now a thousand B corporations. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've looked at a, another company in the B Corp movement. Look what those guys are doing. That's amazing. How could we do something like that? We're a proud member of the B Corp movement. It pushes all of us to be better. So whether we're talking to our colleagues at Patagonia or Ben and Jerry's, uh, right, we can learn from one another. What B Corp does is it sets a really substantive bar for what that means. It says, here's what it means to be a good company in the world. What unites them is all a desire to use their businesses to address some of society's biggest challenges. Business can be used to solve the problems of the world. And so that core idea has been woven into the fabric of our company ever since. Source cream and milk from small family farmers, to buy fair trade ingredients, to run our factories with the lowest environmental impacts that we can. Everything those guys did was an extension of what they believed in, what they cared about.